everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day 22 of the holiday card series for 2016. Today I'm going to be creating a card completely from scratch using uh, inexpensive materials. So the watercolor paper I'm using today is Canson XL watercolor paper. You can find it at Walmart. I really recommend you use watercolor paper if you can. I'm using an inexpensive Crayola watercolor set with the brush, a black pen, and a pencil with an eraser. So the first thing you need to do is create your 5x7 card. So I've just folded my card in half to create a 5x7 card. And this is the sketch for today. I thought it would be really fun to have some really simple circles that are turned into birds, all stacked, stacked on top of each other, and create sort of a pyramid of birds with the top bird having a Santa hat on. So I'm drawing in all of my circles. They don't have to be perfect circles. In fact, one of them is more of an oval and they're kind of spaced, kind of wonky. And then you're going to erase the top portion of that very top circle and draw on a very simple Santa hat. Just the band on the hat and then the top and then a ball for the bottom of the hat. I'm also going to pencil on all of their beaks. These are all just triangles and I'm kind of put tilting some and putting some off to the side. This is going to give the birds lots of character and give them a little more of a facial expression or somewhere to look. So that's what the sketch looks like before you start painting. Really, really simple circles and triangles. And then you're going to paint all of the beaks. I'm using the orange color straight from the palette. I'm not mixing any colors. And I'm making sure those are all painted in. While those dry, I'm going to pencil on the greeting at the bottom of the card. I'm using Seasons Tweetings because I think it's just sort of cute and it plays on uh, the greetings word. But you could do whatever greeting you want. It could just could be Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas. And then after you've penciled that on, go ahead and start painting all of the birds. I think these birds would be really pretty painted in colors of blue or all yellow or purple or whatever color you want. I decided to do red birds so they would sort of look like cardinals, but cardinals don't have orange beaks. So these are very fictional birds. They're just quirky little birds. And the way I'm varying the color on these is I'm giving them kind of a color at the top and then kind of a darker color at the bottom. So you'll notice that some birds are red with some brown at the bottom and other ones are yellow with some orange tones on the bottom. And just giving some different variations in color keeps it interesting. So I'm painting all of those on, making sure all of those areas are painted uh, completely filled in. And then I added some little wings on some of the birds just to give them a little bit more personality. So I just added some little triangle type shapes off to the side. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm diluting it with lots of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm painting a shadow underneath the birds. I'm leaving a space for all of their legs. And I'm just adding some really faint pale gray along the bottom. So you're going to let that dry completely and then go in with some black lines with a black marker or a black pen. So you're going to outline the hat area and then give each of the bird two eyes and some legs and outline their beaks as well. And this is when they really take on quite a bit of character because you have a chance to um, kind of make their legs go off to the side or directly underneath them or like in this case if there's a gap between the bird and the bird beneath it I like to have their legs kind of standing on top of the bird but if they're kind of really really close like this one I'm going to have um, the legs on that one eventually when you see it the legs are going to go off to the side like the birds sitting down so you can definitely have fun with how the birds are drawn and the fun part about this whole card design is that none of them are really precise it's very sketchy and very hand-drawn and homemade so if you're not the best at drawing it doesn't matter because these are such simple birds and the more quirky and different that they look, the better. So this one right here, I'm going to have him kind of standing off to the side. And then that little one, I'll have him with his legs off to the side like he's sitting down. 
And then I have a couple of birds here that have quite a bit of vertical space underneath them. So I'm giving them really super long legs. And this one I'm going to have the leg go behind the wing of that other bird. And then I went over the words at the very bottom of the card to make sure those were all drawn in. And after you've drawn them in, you can use your eraser to erase all of those pencil lines. So the cards are nearly done. You could definitely leave it here if you wanted, but I'm going to add some sparkle up on the top of that hat. I'm using some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is the red color, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that glitter on just to give him a little bit of sparkle and shine. So that is the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it gives you an idea of something you can do with your paints. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.